Hello future engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're still new to my channel and you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to subscribe and share my videos to your friends and to your friends' friends. The, that's the only way you can help me uh, promote my channel and to keep me going, refreshed and inspired. And I'm very, I'm very willing to share my knowledge, especially topics in civil engineering for your benefit. The beam is fabricated by attaching a channel 180 by 14.6 to a W250 by 17.9 shape with 15 mm rivets as shown. So 15 mm diameter rivets as shown. The maximum shear force in the beam is 65 kN. For part A, find the maximum allowable spacing of the rivets if the working stress for a rivet is 100 megapascals in shear. B. What is the corresponding maximum bearing stress exerted by the rivets? So here is the figure and the properties of channels must be given and the W250 by 17.9 relevant to this problem. So for the channel section, Area is 1,850 mm square. Moment of inertia with respect to the yy axis, which is this, is 0.398 times 10 to the 6 because it is parallel to the strong axis of the W flange. And thickness of web of this channel is 5.33 mm. And x distance from the leftmost, topmost edge of the web of the channel to the centroid is 13.7 mm. While for W250 by 17.9, the area is 2 to 80 mm square, the depth is 251 mm, thickness of the flange, which is this, is the same as that of the web of the channel 5.33 mm, and moment of inertia with respect to the x axis, which is here, is 22.4 times 10 to the 6. So we need the moment of inertia with respect to the neutral axis. Let's locate the neutral axis of the entire section first and we will call that y from the top so that's i y y and that's 13.7 x so call that y so area total is area of the channel uh, 1850 plus area of the wide flange 2 to 80 so area is 4130 mm square by varignon's theorem 4130 times y equals 1850 times 13.7 plus 2 to 80 times 251 over 2 plus thickness of the web of the channel 5.33. So the centroid of the wide flange is here. The depth is 251. So from centroid to the top of the flange of the wide flange, it's 251 over 2. So we add thickness of the web of the channel, which is 5.33. So that's the distance of the centroid of the white flange to the topmost uh, level. So therefore, y is equal to 78.36 mm. So from i is equal to moment of inertia of channel 0.398 times 10 to the 6 plus area of channel distance square, where distance is y minus 13.7. So 0.398 times 10 to the 6 IYY of the channel plus, because this is IYY, plus 1850 area times distance square. So distance of the centroid of the channel to the neutral axis is Y minus 13.7, so quantity square, plus I of the wide flange which is IX, 22.4 times 10 to the 6, area 2 to 80. Then distance of the centroid of the wide flange to the neutral axis is, is 251 over 2 plus thickness of the web of the channel minus Y. So 2 to 8, 22.4 times 10 to the 6 plus area 2 to 80. 251 over 2 plus thickness of the web of the channel minus y 
78.36 square. So that's the distance of the centroid of the white plants to the neutral axis. Again, the distance is 251 over 2, depth of the white plants over 2, plus thickness of the web of the channel, 5.33, then minus y. So that's the distance, quantity square. So moment of inertia of the composite section is 36.81 times 10 to the 6 mm to the 4th. So we can now solve for S from Ri over V A prime Y prime. So R is 100 megapascals times area of 1 rivet pi 7.5 square. So this is the resistance per rivet. R is 17671 newtons per rivet. And take note there are two rivets there. So R would be 2 times this value. So everything is known except for Q, which is area prime, Y prime. And that should be the channel because shear failure occurs in this section here. So area of the channel times uh, Y minus 13.7. That's the Y prime. Y minus 13.7, distance of centroid of channel to the neutral axis. So area of channel. So Q is equal to area prime Y prime and it is equal to 11.9621 mm cube. Substitute into the formula where maximum shear force is equal to 665 kilonewtons or 65,000 newtons. So S is 2 times 17.671, 2 rivets, times I, 36.81 times 10 to the 6 over Maximum shear 65,000 newtons, then Q 1196.21. Solving for S, S is equal to 167.3 mm. So what is the corresponding maximum bearing stress exerted by the rivets? So it is force in one rivet divided by diameter of rivet times thickness. Since the two, the web of the channel and the flange of the channel have equal thickness as shown in this given uh, properties or you have to get this from from the app appendix for these properties here. So the diameter is 15 and the thickness to be used is 5.33. So bending, bearing stress is R over diameter thickness. So it is 16,671 divided by 15 times 5.33. So therefore, the bearing stress maximum is equal to 221.0 megapascals. So that's it for this problem.